Hello, 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 and welcome back to another Empyrean Galactic Survival episode. I am here, currently still at the UCH Hiddleburg that we were... Or Heidelberg? I'm guessing that's also how it's pronounced. That I was salvaging earlier, for in hopes for components for the cargo bus that we were creating. Uh... I, oh, to, wait a minute. Cargo bus to the factory, there we go, yeah. So, we were going to create the cargo bus, which was designed by Dendax Play Games. Don, who is of that channel, created this. Uh, I did the liberty of going out and finding the rest of the components. And in so doing so, I did, but I also ran into a pack of miniature raptors, and they decided to, you know, tear me a new one and leave me with an infected wound. I did kill them all, but I still wound up dying from the infected wound because I had no way of curing it. I didn't have any problem getting my stuff back. The uh, survival tent kind of saved me on that one. So I was fine, um, but as you can see here, the unlock level is at level 7, because there are technologies in the level 7 category for hover vessels that we do not currently have access to. Now we don't particularly have to have these unlocked through the use of unlock points, but we just have to be level 7 and we can start the production on it, which will take around 11 minutes. And we can freely place it down wherever we want. So, now that we got that squared away, I think our best bet would be to pick this up. I do have a pistol. And the best way to level up is to go out and kill some enemies. So we can also take down some of the hostile wildlife that whether it be raptors again or spiders, I'd rather fight spiders than raptors because oof, uh, raptors are not afraid of being hit uh, unless it's different here in Reforged Eden. Spiders tend to run away whenever they are hit by any sort of damage, so it would be more ideal to find spiders than it would to find raptors. So I'm going to see if I can make some additional ammunition. Let me look at that. I just became level 5. Harvesting does supply experience, but not nearly as much as killing creatures and like. So, oh, well, what do you know? You gotta have copper. You gotta have copper for that. I did not save any copper. So, ooh. let's go take a ride around and see if we can find any resources that we can pick up. Seems like our character's getting hungry anyway, so it's probably best that we head head off into the uh, more temperate area or cities. I'm seeing silicon, rock. Uh, there's water. Don't drive into that. I did hear some spiders. Oh. Hello. Yep. They still run away. This is good. I want them to run away. Makes it easier to maintain at range. And be sparing on the ammo. 
trying to fire slow and carefully. But now I'm out of ammo, we're gonna have to use the survival tool. Which actually I should have just used this. Get how how nice it is. Kinda handle itself on some small things. Let's take a look at our current experience. We're gonna need quite a bit more. So we're definitely gonna have to fight quite a few more spiders. I don't wanna mess with Triceratops, they can be a little tanky without the proper weaponry. This also provides some, uh, oh, I thought it was a edible plant. Mushrooms last time gave me a bad trip and that, that was really bad. And it eventually started draining my stamina and then my overall hunger bar started depleting rapidly. We're gonna have to take these spiders out. These guys aren't too scared, are they? However, they're having a hard time trying to keep up, so as long as I stay back. It seems like they're afraid, more or less, of guns. Or maybe they have a certain damage thrust threshold that causes them to run. The gun reached that threshold. That's all I can guess for now. can cook some of this meat for food, so killing these spiders is definitely helpful. And I really don't want to be caught out in the night. I am going to stir it up. Some grilled steak. I'm going to plant the tent down. And we're just gonna sit till morning. I can't do that yet. Not till seven, six. You can see the planetary relative, the relative time on the surface of the planet that I'm on. That time will change depending on which side of the planet I'm on, which is a nice detail. And once it hits nighttime, I can sleep. This function only works in single player and it does speed, it does actually speed up time. Oh. Well, um, remind me to be a little more careful about cooking food and then sleeping. <laughs> At least I need to remind myself that food spoiled faster than I, uh, had anticipated. So, uh, no meat for me. We do not want to. We do not want to get in a tussle with that thing. To leave major burns with its acid spit. So we're gonna have to find food elsewhere. Hopefully, I had a piece of salami in my head. I don't know where that came from. Or at least I don't remember where it came from. Here's some copper. We can make use of this. I'm gonna shove this in here. Make up some ingots. And then we're going to try and turn it into ammunition. I need just a small tree to dig. There we go. Three wood logs should do the trick. Drop that in there. And make however much of this ammo we can. It will craft 
25 bullets per craft, so we should get a decent amount. Not not terribly much, but decent enough. And this over here is the Talon faction. They're actually friendly, so I'm not going to disturb them. I am going to grab some natural sweeteners. I think that can help a little bit with hunger. Just a little bit, not too much. But it will it will kinda help tide my character over. Oh wow. 250 rounds. Not bad. Not bad indeed. So let's reload the piston. <laughs> Some of the animations are a little broken. There we go. That's not a that's not a bad amount of ammo. Thought maybe I'd get a little less out of it. Maybe we can come across some more copper. Yes, indeed. Definitely be able to make a uh, decent amount of ammo. Uh, I'm gonna need more wood block, of course. Huh. Here's some creatures we can take out. Three hundred experience. Not bad. Now, like I said before, these creatures are kind of indecisive. Sometimes they act friendly, and sometimes they just don't. And they want to eat you. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I make sure to be uh, away from them. These guys have uh, some meat every once in a while, it looks like, so we should be able to tide ourselves over with some extra grub. We'll just, uh, just need to keep in mind that, uh, Beating up time can be a little too much when cooking food, especially without a refrigerator. Oh, let's see here. Yeah, it's gonna help quite a bit. Do not want to set off any drones by activating the bridge console because I heard that in Reforged Eden the drones are not any normal drones that you would usually see in the vanilla. They are rather very tough and very destructive. So that's why I'm taking a break from the story campaign of things and dedicating my time to collecting resources and at least have something to settle down here with so that I can then later get a ship built and fly out of here. Hey you. I don't know if I need to keep the alien parts for anything. I kind of forget what their purpose is, if they have a purpose still. Ah, uh, hitboxes are a little weird. Oh, here's some plant protein too. energy bars out of vegetables on the go. Iron 
plant deposit. Nope, that. We'll take any plant fiber, or at least protein, I mean, that I can get my hands on. There's energy signature, but it's red. Let's try by. Oh, is that a spider nest? Yep, yeah, that's a spider nest. I remember coming to a spider nest before. However, I have to be aware of the radiation nearby. There is a decent amount of growables near it. Oh, hello. Yep. Should have known that there would be spiders nearby. definitely beats using the survival laser. And they do run at the sight or at the sound of a gun going off, so it's either noise that throws them off or it's just being hurt, period. I'm gonna guess it's the noise because other spiders also run away. Well, thank you, little M5 pistol. Save the day. I will start processing this meat right away. While I do a little bit of digging around, Let's also start up some protein energy bars. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, there might be resources on this. Yes, there is purple leaves Good for health. However, you won't get much health out of it. But I guess if you need a quick patch me up kind of thing, it can be handy. Now, using survival tools definitely not very efficient. Digging? Why they would rather prefer you get the uh, drill. But being that I'm still in the early stages, I do not have access to that. I don't remember how many containers there are when it comes to this particular POI. Eventually, I'll come up with my own little garden, anyways. In any case, there's really nothing too important to be found here. Did it so that I could let the meat cook, keep busy. Alright. Now we shall get moving again. Here's another energy signature. Oh, multiple energy signatures. I got back to the uh, starting location. Yep, there's the escape pods over there. It's broken antenna. Okay, I should have looked more thoroughly through these wreckages. The containers. As they contain some valuable items that we could use. Uh, 
very small wreckage that it contains. It's only scrap. That's wreckage that I've already broken down. Uh, that one as well. There's also an energy signature just up ahead here. Nothing good here, not even a box with any loot, so pointless. We'll keep searching around the area in hopes of some uh, good stuff. When, until we hit level 7, uh, I'm just going to keep looking around here for things to kill and pick up some copper ore because that's going to help us with some ammunition as long as I can pick it up because we're really tight on space uh, we don't need stimulant or leaves I don't care about green serves as a small amount of food so I'll just eat what I can Taking up space right now. There. Feel very comfortable and satisfied. Good. Good. I'll get rid of this. Don't need spice either. World food, I can't make use of right now. Alien parts, alien tooth. Those can go. I don't really know why I need an oxygen. Bottle. I can make oxygen anytime. Okay. Now we'll drill up this barrel. So, 431. 447. So it does take a fair amount of space. It is a pretty hefty material. Very valuable for that. Ooh, there's a lot of vegetables here. Oh, crap. Um, good. I drop this. Place the motorcycle back down. Motorcycle's just too heavy to pick up. could kill these creatures for meat. I don't think I'll get any experience from them. Oh. oh. I in, I'm in tal- okay, never mind. I'm in Talon territory. If I do that, I'll anger them. So I do not want to do that. I did just lose three points of reputation. That's not a lot of loss. It takes quite a bit to lose a reputation. Um, we don't know the faction quite yet, so it's good that we did find it, because it means we can uh, we can live inside of a friendly area. But it's best that you become friends with them first before you decide doing that, because you could make them angry. Uh, by living in the area, placing anything down like a, a base starter or a small vessel starter or anything like that it causes them to be upset. Oh. I don't. Well, with this kind of creature, will they get angry if I shoot this kind of creature? Yes, they will. Won't touch those. No, I really do not like those kind of creatures. However, here's some Talon structures. It's good, because now we know who the Talon is. We are going to check. Yes, we're still, we're still in neutral graces with them, so 
long as we don't do to anything too rash, we'll be fine. Especially once we, we become friends with them, we'll be able to do quite a few things. In fact, we'll go to this monument over here because they usually have spiders. I don't want to get too far ahead of myself because there are some pretty big spiders here usually. Okay, yeah, there's one right there. Yeah, that's a pretty big looking spider. Definitely want to be careful. Getting a lot more experience off of them all. I'm not gaining any sort of faction reputation from these guys anymore, it seems. So maybe that reforged Eden has changed that to make it harder. However, I am getting experience, so that is still helpful nonetheless. We're almost there, a little past halfway to level seven, so that's a good good sign. Still got plenty of ammo to kill a few more spiders with. At least a handful of spiders. To say the least. Drag some more out if we can. Yep, here we go. Come on out, little spider. I'm just gonna pelt you full of holes until you give me the XP I want. Whoa, 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 hello. Uh, where'd you come from, little buddy? Forgive me for the lag spikes. Sometimes it's for being, uh, even for being full release, it's still a heavy work in progress. But it's, uh, it's still a pretty good. It just has its kinks every once in a while. Just like any game would, really. Okay, so I think I killed all the spiders I can from the area. Just here. Gotta chill here. Next to the base. Inside of it. Can chill inside. Okay. There is a traitor over here. I don't think. I don't think I have anything I could give it though. Plant protein. Double leaves of medicinal growth. They would uh, take some plant protein, but I don't see anything here that I want to buy. Not really give it too much choice here. How about you? A little better selection, but still not too impressive. That's weird. Reflective almost. I'm sure the rules are the same as it would be in vanilla. Yep. You open a cabinet, they become unfriendly with you instantly. There's no real stealth mechanics, so you can't really just say, oh, I want to open this while they're not looking. No, they will know and they will come for you. And 
do not want more than one action already coming for you. You'd be in a real big mess. So let's take a look see here at what we can do to become more friendly with them. So if we destroy a plant they get angry, harvest a plant they get angry, of course unless we have a good enough reputation. Um stay outside of talent factory if our reputation is hostile. Ew. Well, it says right here, attacking a predator in Talon territory. So what I'm guessing is the spiders at that monument. Since those are pre-generated spiders, they do not count as predators. So I'll have to go out in their territory and actually find some naturally occurring spiders and other things. Yeah, like like these spiders right here. Yep. Here we go. Now we're gaining some reputation. I always find it handy to be friendly with the talent because they're an easy one to appease. Polaris are easy to appease as well. Just do the same thing. Kill things in their territory. Alright, where are you guys coming from? They really try to flank you, it seems. I know there's another one out there somewhere. Yep, there it is. Try to take advantage of me trying to loot, loot the dead spider. Smart little punk you are, aren't you? I got uh, a decent amount of meat. Eat. I need it. I'm sure there's a four spider around here somewhere, but I'm bother finding it. And this pistol's looking very, very bad. Wear and tear on it. Going by a little faster than I'd, I'm comfortable with, to be honest. I'd be tempted to lower the weapon tool of degradation levels. Now tools can oh there we go we reached level seven. Let's finish off these spiders real quick. level 7 you can actually start the production and you'll see the remaining time countdown right here you should have a a hover vessel soon now I'm going to sleep so I'm going to eat as much as I can and I'm willing to craft as much protein bars as I can. Um, crafting anything? Should be. Yeah, it's crafting. That's good. Alright. So I got my tent ready. These aren't gonna last. This isn't gonna last long enough. But, ah, okay, there we go. Oh, we'll just sleep till morning. 
see how it goes. Okay. Yep, grilled steak's not gonna make it. Energy bars made it, which is good. It's fine. As long as the energy bars made it. Um. Does that also mean? Yes, I think. Yes, it did. It sped up the craft of the hover vessel as well. That's quite nifty. Again, the said feature only works in single player. So here is the cargo bus. Again, created by Don Bab of Dead Dex Play Games. Uh, it's pretty much got, got all that you really want on it. It's got a uh, retractable turret at the top of it. Uh, however, I remember this... M Ah, I know what went wrong. I didn't save the most recent cargo bus that he had modified. So this one is of the retractable turret variation. He had made another one with just turrets sitting on top of some cargo extenders, which allowed for more cargo space. But, ah, uh, it's all right. They can be easily remodified. Uh, anyways, it's pretty much suited up for your general needs. It's got six cargo uh, containers on each side for general storage. It is separate from the cargo controller. The container controller is connected to cargo extender blocks, such as this block right here, which is a container co extension. Uh, container controllers and container extensions act as a modular way of creating storage. But they, uh, as you create a modular storage, uh, you put it together block by block in any way you would like, but as each block is taken out, the maximum uh, mass that can be stored in such c containers will be reduced, but you might also have items drop out of it. But that might be a better outcome than having, say, a non-modular container being busted and then everything drops out. So, And look at that. I didn't even notice that, but I just even got a mini fridge. That is pretty awesome definitely would want a mini fridge to keep our foods nice and fresh uh, it's got a mobile constructor inside so I can say container controller it will be the input and output which will definitely be handy it is got a harvester module which can easily mow down most creatures and it can chop up trees fairly well uh, I think it's got a detector Yes, it's got a detector inside so that we can scan for any buildings nearby uh, or any other ore deposits and the other and the alike, I should say. Let's see, let's go down. It's got a harvest controller so that we can uh, store harvested materials in it. Ammunition for the turret. It's even got an armor locker in case we come across any armor. We can put it on. Uh, but yeah, it, it's a very nice little vehicle and it does its job. So now I can just, you know, put some stuff in here. I'm gonna open up the container controller and shove some ores and materials in here that I don't want in my inventory anymore. Spoiled food can go in there, plants can go in there. We're gonna just open up a whole bunch of inventory now that we've got this. Uh, I did salvage some fuel from the crashed uh, capital ship from uh, wherever we came from. So I'm going to manage and I'm going to see...
Oh, there you go. Took 40 containers to fill the entire tank. Which is fine. It will last a while. I mean, look at that. 571.1 minutes. That's on idle. And when it's actually moving. Oh, I will say... This is definitely a vehicle that needs to be on pipe. Oh, ho, ho, ho. wait a minute. Oh, just a moment. It is actually slightly over CPU. I hmm. What could I get rid of? What could I get rid of? to solve this little conundrum. Let me lift it up, see if there's any underneath. Go to drone mode. Um, I think what I'll do is I will... Can't reclaim. So once I do this, it's permanent. I'm gonna salvage a hover engine because I don't think we need for for it to work properly. And that should be absolutely, absolutely fine. Not quite, but I can see where it kinda kinda leans back now. Oh well. It's it it can be easily replaced. However, I am seeing a major problem with this vehicle. It does not want to turn or rotate. That is... Oh, you know what? I think I know the reason why. Probably because it's too heavy in the back. If I were to pick some stuff up, no, it does not want to rotate. So it seems like we've got ourselves a bit of a problem here that we're going to need to solve. But it's not the material. Shove all this back in. Does this have an RCS at all? It does not. That's our problem. So what we need to do is go in here and find ourselves the RCS. I think I passed it somewhere. Generator. There we go. There we go. Okay, so what we need to do is turn this thing on. We need to go into the constructor. And we need to make ourselves RCS. We're missing mechanical components on mo three motors, one computer, four steel plates. So I'm thinking we're going to need more copper, probably. Most importantly, we're going to need uh, iron. So hopefully I can find some iron nearby. Because without an RCS, it's going to be extremely, and you can see, extremely difficult to uh, turn at all. So we're gonna have to find some iron bearing right here. There's a terribly, terribly large amount of copper here, which I'm happy about, but it's not iron. So I'm going to have to go on the motorcycle and traverse around a bit in hopes of finding well, we definitely need silicone. That's also needed. I'll pick some of that up. I 
I think during the production of it or the modification of it because me, Don, and Dax, we all got together to do a little bit of some building and doing some modifications of some previous things that we've created to be fit for more survival cases. Well, um, I think during the modification of this uh, cargo bus, uh, the RCS may have gotten removed for CPU reasons, but I don't think it was known that it was going to cause it to practically stop dead in its tracks. <laughs> But again, no worries, it shouldn't be too hard to get it up and running itself. It just needs at least one RCS. I just need the proper materials. It should be up and going in no time. Just gotta make sure that I get plenty of iron. Okay, I've got 29 iron. A little bit more will be nice. Oh, no, no, no. I do not want to mess with those guys. They will. They'll probably kill me within like one or two bites without armor, so. I think. I think this will have to do. I think this will be enough iron. Not quite sure, but it does make quite a few ingots. For five ore, it makes ten ingots, so. This vehicle is over on CPU, so I have no doubt that this might cause an issue. But we need an RCS right now. If we don't, uh oh. If we don't make one, we're going to be stuck here. Or I'm going to move, be moving only in one direction plastic tubes. What does it take to make plastic tubes? Oh, that's easy. Uh, I think I'll actually take the vehicle. Chop down one of these trees. Oh yeah. That thing gets to work alright. Oh, and the Talon did not... The Talon did not like that. Which I understand, and I also need to shut off turrets, weapons, because I know I don't even have any ammunition anyways, but I don't want anything rash happening in case I do, because this thing will open fire on practically anything. Oh, first I must... I'm just going to access it through devices. Harvest controller. Wood. Open up. Control. Controller. Stick the wood in there. Go to the constructor. Do we still not have... Plastic tubes made from carbon substrate, right? Ah, I don't have a stone. Okay. That's not hard to get at all. Um, we'll just try our best to deal with the way this vehicle is currently because it's going to move far faster. Me being foot and me basically handicapping this vehicle in the back is not doing it any justice either. So uh, 
I'm going to have to replace that because I thought CPU may have been causing the issue, but it was just the missing RCS that we did not have to start off with. Can I harvest rocks with this? I can't, that'd be amazing. Cannot damage the target with this weapon. Nope. Okay, so we'll just start off on a smaller rock. This will have to do. This is gonna take a moment, but it it'll give plenty of stone for what we need to do. Getting there. Slowly but surely. Come on. I know I won't be able to carry all of this, but I'll just have to carry it back and forth. Or the rock. Perfect. Yeah, that's a lot of crushed stone. I don't even think this will be able to carry it all. That, that's a lot of crushed. Yeah, that's a lot of crushed stone. I'm actually going to try and alleviate it of some of that weight. And roller constructor. Here we go. We create the RCS. Wow, that's a lot of components. It's going to need craft. Meow, meow. What you doing, Mew? My kitty cat just woke up. He wants to speak. <laughs> it is pretty late, though. So I will definitely be cutting the stream down. <laughs> I say stream, a recording down here eventually. Why don't you take a squat, you silly cat? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good kitty. Yes, you are. <laughs> Sometimes he wakes up from uh, a deep slumber. When he does, he starts meowing out loud. Trying to get my attention, as if to be, as if he has been startled. Okay, we'll give that a moment. We'll just pick up a few things here and there. We definitely won't be able to carry that stone. Uh, that's a given. At the trash half of this, we'll pick up some of the silk comments over here. Any resources that we can find will be helpful along the way. I'm definitely not used to the uh, weight limit because I'm used to being able to just grab as much as I want and then chuck everything in. But this is a good challenge and it kind of balances the game out quite a lot. That way you don't progress too fast and it actually takes time to get somewhere. And it looks like our RCS is ready. I am so sorry little hovercraft for nixing your hover thruster like that. It was definitely not the issue, but we have definitely solved small problem. Some trial and error. Ah, yes. That is much more bearable now. Where are we at? Yeah, it did elevate it a little bit, but not too bad. 
I think, if I recall from what Don was saying, the uh, efficiency of the CPU judges how uh, much how much uh, fuel it will use over time. So we definitely don't want to go too low on the efficiency. We can look into invest in another hover thruster, hover engine, make up for what we did. Yep, we can easily create one right away. It'll take some time, wait for that to craft, or better yet, make use of the tent for right now. Stick our food in the fridge. That way it stays preserved. And take a nap. It's probably going to use a fair amount of fuel. Leaving it on like that. Yeah, that's not terrible. I can still make biofuel, so... It's not the end of the world by any means. Now that we got our thruster, we're gonna just slap that back on. Help bounce the ship out. Or the hover vessel. Exactly a ship, per se. Oh yeah. Now we're moving. What can we find? There is an unknown signal that we can go check out over here. We definitely would like to find abandoned buildings. They will uh, usually contain high, sometimes high grade materials and equipment, or at least at the most basic level. Um, I might be able to craft some simple equipment with the mobile constructor that's in the back of this hovercraft right now. So we'll have to look into that, but first we're going to check out this unknown signal. Maybe it might be something worth looking into. This appears to be a resource, which is another iron deposit. Not something you're looking for at the moment. We do not have uh, tools that are capable of mining any faster. Although still, still slow. I think it's just a hefty vehicle. It's got some good weight to it. Only that's got the storage in the back. Uh, another RCS would probably help but it is definitely by far much, much better. So if we take a look here, we're at 89%, which is fine. We can live with that. Biofuel can be easily made from trees, so I think what I'll do right now is start grinding up some trees. Thank goodness. I completely forgot that the talent was not like that. I probably lost a lot of... I lost like right around 20, 30 something reputation. I think that was all my progress that I done on killing spiders. Oh... I can't, I can't kill spiders using this thing. Did it? Oh, they sure did. They ate out one of the blocks. Oh, those pieces of crap. That's alright. As long as the craft is still functional, I'm happy. Uh, that ancient tower.
tower doesn't usually have anything special in it. This is meant for more story purposes. Ah, dang. In, please. Uh, yeah, this is probably definitely for story purposes only. Please let me out. This not good. Oh, wait a minute. Ah, yes. And eventually some walls will explode somewhere. Remember correctly, it should, yes. Can't salvage it. Oh, what have I got myself into now? Oh, thank goodness. Ooh, could have broken a leg there. That was dangerous. Talon territory. Ah, won't bother with them. Right now, I think we are set to go to actually make a base. We need to check is I need some basic equipment. That's what I need. So we'll take a look real quick. Fuel cell, being able to make basic survival equipment as well. It's definitely necessary in case we get stuck somewhere. Mechanical drill, multi tool, or scanner, that will all be helpful. That's a very expensive. That's 500 skill points just to unlock that. Unless it's unlocked some other way, I don't know. Rather odd. Uh, the shotgun, most definitely, has the cheapest ammo. Uh, unless it's different. We definitely want some light armor. The machine gun sounds interesting. Assault rifle, we'll just unlock some of the basic things. Pulse of charge might be handy. So now that we've got host of things like that unlocked. Let's see if we can create some of that equipment. Yes, we can make some light armor. Mechanical drill, a multi-tool. Uh, we definitely want a shotgun. And we definitely want to make some shotgun shell. But while that's working, I'm going to do a little bit of uh, some exploration of that. We won't we won't prepare a base just yet because it will take a bit of resource gathering to get that done. It requires a lot of stone, so we're definitely going to need that mechanical drill. It's going to be very helpful for harvesting just the basic resources we need to put that something like that together. Oh 
come on. You can do it. Don't slow down on me. Push up. There we go. I'm hoping to find some very good POIs. I don't remember if starting worlds have lootable POIs per se. I know usually they have, there is Xerax on, on the starting world, just to give you a bit of trouble, especially for making your first base. Um, so ammo is definitely going to be something we're going to have to look into to fuel the base when we decide to create it, because we will get ongoing attacks. Let's check the constructor. It's just now the mechanical drill. It'll make a multi tool, a shotgun, and its corresponding ammo. And when it comes to mechanical drill, definitely going to need like, not a hundred, just want to make ten. And as for the multi tool going to want to make multi-charge which we're incapable of making at this current moment. Definitely want an ore scanner. Detector is also a good basic tool for detecting things on the moon. Uh, we will have a multi-tool but we will not have any ammunition besides the two clips that we scavenged from the crashed capital vessel that we spawned nearby at. So we will have something to salvage blocks with quite, quite efficiently. Let's just explore the area and get to know the world a little bit more. Come across Xerox territory, we're definitely gonna have to turn right around because we are very much incapable of fighting against them right now. Kind of your usual forestry here. Out of the ordinary. We will hit another faction eventually. Hopefully, Polaris and not Virax. Polaris and the Talon are the two factions that you always start out as neutral, and Virax are always enemy. I believe you can build relations with pretty much any faction, but you're always going to anger another faction. Unless there is a way to micromanage, I'd say have fun doing so. Um, back to the constructor again. It is now making our ammunition. We should have plenty of shotgun shells. The shotgun is a pretty devastating weapon in the early stages of the game. And we should be able to easily eradicate uh, simple creatures uh, for experience and such like that. Thank goodness hovercrafts can go over water. We, we do. Hovercrafts sunk into water, right? <laughs> be kind of useless, wouldn't it? Another piece of Talon territory. That's interesting. I've not seen Talon have this much uh, control over a planet before. It's still better than finding Xerax. Looks at our doctor. Yeah, we're definitely going to have plenty of ammunition. Yeah, wow, this is a big place. Oh, wait a minute, what's this? 
what's this? Purple energy signature. We're gonna take a look at this. This might prove bountiful. It could also prove deadly, so uh, we have to approach with caution. It's always nice to see a different signature, but it's also not very nice to die to it through curiosity. <laughs> I don't know what kinds of POIs Reforged Eden has waiting for me, but uh, we'll find out one way or another. We'll Like cannot see POI. Ah, that sounds really good. An abandoned workshop. And if it's abandoned, then there should be nothing there. Oh, wait a minute. Yup. I remember this point of interest. This did exist in Vanilla, and it has its own little, own little secrets. So uh, we will take the drill, light armor, shotgun shells, shotgun, empty tool. Uh, we got a core, which is going to be helpful. Um, Uh, let's bounce on out here. Where was the lock? But the lock is right here. So now we got ourselves some basic armor. That will serve us quite well. We're going to place the tent right here. Just in case if we die. Uh... Survival multi tool. Place the pistol with the shoddy. And just for speed storing it away fast, we're just going to put some of the basic things away in the fridge. Multi tool. Alright. Let's take a peek, see, shall we? We also now have a jetpack so that we can more easily scale things. Oh, yeah. It's good. How? Whoa. Hello. It's definitely good to have a shoddy. I can tear these things up real fast. And I. Definitely realize that reloading is far slower. So we'll take a look through this POI and we'll call it a recording. Now, the reason why I know a lot about this POI is stand in the center of that. Okay. Okay, well, now that was unexpected because it wasn't supposed to kill you. It was supposed to just explode and you fall in. But apparently, I got the exact opposite of what I was expecting. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, well, there you have it. Don't trust the big boom of this base. Thankfully, I can just easily retrieve my gear. It 
did damage my armor a lot. I don't know if it still has any effect on the armored value. I have a trouble understanding that. Whether it whether it does or it doesn't, but I guess we just find out as we go. Okay. So this is a dangerous dangerous POI and we've already seen the beginning of it already dying to a massive explosion and the funny thing is that's supposed to be like the only way into this POI so to instantly die from the only entrance it's a little uh, excessive I would say but it is what it is and we're just going to uh, do what we can do what we usually do. Loot, pillage, and take control. What we're going to do here is we're going to drop down carefully. And we also do have a suit light now. Yep, yeah, we gotta be very careful in this POI. Oh! Those guys are far stronger than I remember. Oh, and those guys spit. That's not good. Okay. May have bitten off more than I can chew. And uh, I think that's going to be a normal thing. Because now I wish I had made more bandages. That's our only form of healing. If we can take out the spitters and the like... very careful and be very aware of our surroundings. There is some valuable things down here. Materials and everything. Flux coils, definitely worth. Detox kit, that'll help. don't know how strong these abominations are going to be. Ooh, they're quite tough. Ooh! Yeah, they are... They're tough. Not quite extremely tough. Xeno material? Oh, so we can collect that now. I believe Xeno material can be processed into a Xeno metal, which it happens to be like the strongest material. So the thing is, we're gonna go around here throughout this place. I remember this is 4224, right? No, or is it 2442? I kind of forget the code. So, 4221. Ah, it locked me out. Okay. There's a cooldown to stuff like that. Oh, more bandages? That will definitely help us. Like, right about now. <gasps> There's going to be more things around this corner. Come here. Do 
not want to get bit, so I want them to come towards me if possible. Go. One. There's a second one. Alright, that one's dead. This gets a bit intense now because I know what stakes are involved. Um, I know that I've placed my tent down though, so I can... Ooh, hello. Oh, you're not as tough as you seem, are you? One good shot and you're dead. I like that Xeno material. Bit of some lag spikes here and there, but... Some food in here, which I can actually eat. This will help with health. Sniper rounds. Let's buy get a sniper rifle. Four. Uh, it was four, four, two, four. That's what Wow, look at this. I, oh my gosh, I can barely carry all that. That's magnesium power. Uh, I'll take magnesium powder over the half of the stack of iron ingots because magnesium is not as easy to find. No fruit, covered in fat spikes, that's extremely sour. Shotgun shells is nice. So we door, 4424. Right, that's good. So we're clearing this out without too much a problem. We just gotta have to be aware that entering it is going to pretty much lead to death. Probably always. Unless it's something I did to make it cause such explosion to kill me, of course. Now, ooh, insulation booster. That's another good find. Now there's another explosion coming up that I won't be able to avoid, so it's going to hurt. Okay, thank goodness it didn't do that much damage to me. Oh, damn. These guys are very deadly. However, uh... That is definitely, definitely possible. Oh, wow. Definitely coming back down to reclaim some of that. Shot, stomach pills. Stomach pills are quite handy. Biological specimen. Okay, that doesn't open till we. Lever, another detox kit, which will help remove a good amount of conditions. That 
open it up. However, I need to go back down because if we come up here. Shoot this out. We can enter this room. We're gonna have to kill the uh, abominations on the other side. This way we can reach the core. Yep, here we go. Alright, come at me, uglies. Do not want to get struck. Oh no. Nope, 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 nope. Come on. Oh. These things are so damn ugly. But they have some good speed too, and they do a pretty hefty amount of damage. Radiation here. Be careful of the alien on the other side of this door. Okay. We did it. We have taken over this base upon destruction of this core. shots is it going to take to destroy it? We're going to suffer a little bit of radiation. Okay, one more should do. Or... Okay. There we go. Now this entire base is ours upon the placement of a single core. I'm going to set it as can't set it as public. I don't know if that would make a difference or anything, but that means now I can go through the storage and see if I left anything. But actually that just means I can easily access the storage from above the surface without having to worry about say uh, coming back down oh, on, there we go. and it also means I can reclaim blocks to repurpose them for my own which means I can also reclaim these to then turn it into my base because there is concrete blocks so that will be of big, big help in pr producing it. So, I know, I know this video is a little long already, but I want to see. Oh, it's full. So, I'm going to have to start storing stuff on the sides here. want to show how easy it is to just go through a base that you've claimed and create an entirely new base from it. So we'll go in here, go into the base. Uh, we've got the difficult check version 2 and RE. We just need a little bit of neodymium. We got the cobalt. If we can find the neodymium, then we're, we're golden right now. This it doesn't really do anything. Right now, we're going to claim some of these concrete blocks. you 
start claiming the ones that have less health, then it'll be much easier in the production of your base. See? It does a lot already. It just seven blocks adds 42 stone dust. That's because I'm basically doing a one-to-one -one conversion. I don't know if this works. It does. Basically, seeing that I'm doing a one-to-one -one conversion of these blocks. So basically, per block I retrieve is per block of the base that I am claiming. But yeah, you can just, you know, just keep doing this. And go here, shove it in, blammo. Turn a base into you know, your own personal base. Now I, I'm not gonna keep on going up with this. I'm gonna do this off camera. That way you don't have to sit here and watch me reclaim all this. But I sure do hope that you enjoyed watching and that uh, this kind of play style is enjoyable to you. I uh, I don't know my audience per se. Uh, I did make and continue to make some Destiny videos based on the stories that I said I would record. It's not my main game, but I do see a decent amount of people uh, watch that stuff. Though I do like to diverge into other things that I also have an interest in. But, uh, yeah. That's pretty much going to be it for a little bit. And then once I got the base components that I need, uh, I'll let you guys know about it in another video. Thanks for watching. Hope you all have a very good night, very good day, time zone you may live in. And see you next episode.